Sri Lanka, known for its stunning landscapes, lush forests and diverse wildlife is also home to one of the most fascinating creatures on the planet, the majestic elephant. For generations, humans and elephants have coexisted on this beautiful island nation. But recent years have seen a sharp increase in the man these elephants struggle. As human settlements encroach deeper into elephant habitats, conflicts are becoming more frequent and more deadly. Elephants raid crops, destroy homes, and pose a threat to human life. In turn, humans retaliate with lethal force, often poisoning or shooting elephants in self-defense. Despite the gravity of the situation, authorities have failed to provide a viable solution to this conflict. It was said that the entire country has been shrouded in myth. When I visited the area, I noticed that not a single tree had been cut down. The project had been taking place on bare land spanning about 100 acres. That is not a forest. It was only bare land. I visited the area before the so-called environmental patriots. But Minister, these banana cultivations that you can see in a distance were not there before. This was forest land. Elephants inhabited these areas. Go and visit the coconut, jack and breadfruit cultivations of these villagers. You will be able to see that a herd of about 11 elephants roaming across fields spanning three to four acres near the Vava. I think that the district secretary is aware of this. These are state lands. Someone must have purchased them for two, three or four million rupees. They have sold away state lands. This is an act of theft and corruption. Therefore, those engaged in these cultivations must be questioned. Human, elephant conflict is not a new phenomenon. And yet, there is no comprehensive strategy in place to mitigate the risks and ensure the safety of both humans and elephants. Itumala Yojanagara, Alivata Venuta Gal Kapanik, Nikang Italavana Garu Amatuma, Kilometer Hadda Hapaman, Adida Hayak Palala, Adida Hayak Gambru, Alak Kapano, Zoda Mega Meratian, Ganga, Tatada, Barapatala Prasakino. Matan Rikiva, Agal Kapaka, Moda Maria, then Mega Muna, the Maria, Minister to Arakan Munakere, Munakere, Hari, Halavato, Halavato, another one Giraga. The issue lies in the fact that human settlements continue to expand into elephant habitats without proper consideration for the impact on the animals. The Sri Lankan government has failed to implement effective zoning laws and land, use policies which would provide a buffer zone between human settlements and elephant habitats. Furthermore, there is a lack of education and awareness among the general public about elephant behavior and how to respond in a conflict situation. Often, people panic and react with violence, which only exacerbates the problem. We need urgent action to address this crisis. The authorities must work to create viable solutions that prioritize both the safety of humans and the protection of elephant habitats. This requires a collaborative effort between government officials, conservationists, and local communities. Let us not forget that elephants are a vital part of Sri Lanka's natural heritage, and we must do all we can to ensure their survival. The man Epps elephant struggle must end, and it is up to us to find a sustainable solution that will allow both humans and elephants to live in harmony.